Imagine it's 1 a.m. and you're sitting at your computer. You're setting up an email server after hours of trial and error. Weak, tired, fatigued. You finally did it. You got the server installed. A perfect phishing attack is ready to release. You cautiously hit the send button and Gmail's first line of defense catches your email with ease. The phishing email fails. You fail because you failed to plan. And your plan was to use port 25 for SMTP. While Secret Letters was using Start TLS on port 587, upgrading his connection to a secure encrypted channel. In this video, Secret Letters will show you how to set up Postfix on Linux, but with a twist. He'll be using Gmail's SMTP server to securely relay emails through a third-party application. And not only that, these emails will be encrypted and secure. Oh my gosh, this AI dude is really making me give away all my secrets. Well, I guess let's start by installing Postfix, which is the software responsible for sending the emails. Now, if you're wondering, secret letters, why do we need to use Postfix? Well, it's highly configurable, supports secure email transmission, and it's perfect for simulating email-based attacks, like phishing. So let's install it. And as you can see, I already have Postfix installed. But that's not all we need to do. This is where things are going to get interesting. If you want to use Gmail's SMTP server to send emails securely, you're going to run into obstacles because Gmail blocks insecure applications. So how do we overcome this? With app passwords. Google won't let Postfix send emails unless you authenticate properly. So to get around all this, head over to your Google account settings, go to the security tab and enable 2FA. And you might be thinking, why the heck do I need to enable 2FA? Well, without it, you can't enable app passwords and Postfix won't be able to authenticate. So go ahead and enable 2FA and then you'll have the option to generate an app password. So if you're not familiar, an app password will bypass 2FA specifically for applications like Postfix. But we're gonna isolate this to only Postfix so it can't be used for anything else. And if you're wondering, secret letters, why do we need to relay emails anyway? Well, Postfix needs a trusted SMTP server to send emails externally, and Gmail is one of the most secure ones out there. So let's go ahead and open up the main configuration and configure Gmail as the relay. Now we're going to add these following lines to define Gmail as the relay and enforce security through TLS. And here's the configuration you're gonna need. So as you can see, we're using port 587 and not port 25, which is the default for SMTP. But port 587 uses start TLS, which upgrades the connection to a secure encrypted channel. Port 25, even though it's common to use, doesn't guarantee encryption. Now let's set up the actual credentials for Postfix to authenticate with Gmail. Store your Gmail address and the app password securely in a file like this because we don't want your credentials sitting around in plain text, right? Now enter your credentials in the following format. Replace what I have with what you have, your Gmail address and your app password with the password you generated from earlier. Now once that's done, let's hash the file and restrict its permissions to ensure that only Postfix can access it. So go ahead and enter these following commands. And you might be wondering, why the heck are we using chmod600? Well, 
These permissions ensure that only the owner, which is root, can read or write the file. Now restart Postfix to apply the new configuration and the credentials. Once restarted, Postfix will be able to relay emails through Gmail's secure SMTP server using the following command. So let's go ahead and set up a test email. Now, if your email doesn't come through, don't panic unless you want to. Postfix logs will be your best friend. And from here, we could jump into the social engineering toolkit by David Kennedy, maybe clone the Gmail login page, set it up, send it out, grab credentials. I don't know. The sky's the limit. But here you have it. Your very own Postfix server securely relaying emails through Gmail. But more importantly, you're able to simulate phishing attacks or testing email security. You also learned how to understand and set up a secure mail relay to ensure that your tests are as close as possible to real world scenarios. So I hope I answered your questions about Postfix and Gmail. If so, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and don't forget to drop any questions you may have in the comment section. And until the next video, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you out there on the hunt.